Jay Humphrey's professional basketball career has taken him around the world. Drafted 13th overall by the Suns in 1984, Humphreys played 11 seasons in the NBA, with stops in Milwaukee, Utah, and finally Boston. After coaching the last five years in South Korea, he's rejoined the Suns as an assistant coach. Jay's career has literally come full circle around the globe. This is full circle. This is where I began as a player and, and where I'll begin as a coach. And hopefully uh, I can uh, have my tenure here be a little bit longer than it was as a player. The community is great. The fan support. The organization is number one. So this is really a good place to, to break in. After paying his dues overseas, Humphreys has the respect of Mike D'Antoni, who knows what it's like to have to earn your keep. You don't sit around in your hometown where you played basketball and want it just thrown into your lap, not, you know. And he went, he had to go all the way to uh, Asia to coach. He's, uh, he's been around, he's drug his family all over the place. And to me, that's, there's a desire to coach and do something, so that, that appeals to me. He kind of understands uh, the determination you have as a coach uh, to, to take it overseas. You know, when trying to uh, coach in, a, in another country where people don't understand the language always and you have to find a, a happy medium, it makes you grow as a coach. Uh, it makes you understand things a lot better. Jay has also been reunited with Suns assistant coach Alvin Gentry, whose friendship spans almost 30 years. When I was a, a pup back in, in uh, Inglewood, California, he recruited me uh, out of Inglewood High School to, to come to the University of Colorado. And he always tells everybody, yeah, but I was only 12 years old when I recruited him because he doesn't want his true age to show. Here's a guy that played in the league 11, 12 years. And, uh, you know, I think he has a good feel for the game. Got great coaching in college, you know. <laughs> nah, I just kidding. Coming to a staff that's had so much success isn't easy. But Jay brings a wealth of playing experience that he draws on to develop the younger players. I'm working with some guards that, that uh, haven't been accustomed to the position and exactly uh, how to do it in, in this league. They've been great college players. And since I've been out there in the mix, uh, it's a few little tricks and things that I can do to help them with the game. Anytime you can listen to someone that actually played the game, played on this level, it's big because he's very knowledgeable. He's, he played the guard position, which you know, I'm making the transition out of college from playing forward to trying to play more guard. So, uh, you know, he tells me a lot, and I try to just soak as much as I can. With this being his first NBA coaching gig, Humphreys realizes there's still plenty to learn. But he feels that one day he'll be in the middle of the huddle instead of on the outside looking in. You know, I would love to, to be a head coach in the NBA. There's some things for me to learn, but I know that with my personality and how I, I can relate to players, uh, it's just about systems and someone believing in me and what I do. 